Hi, this is Mr. Cappert. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do isometric sketches. First, I want to give you a little lecture on isometric sketches. Now, pictorial drawings, it's a type of pictorial drawing, is a 2D illustration of a 3D object. So we're using paper, which is obviously two dimensions. You have length and width on a piece of paper. Only two dimensions. Now we want to represent something that's 3D such as this camera and how we're going to do this is through isometric drawings. So we're going to see three faces of an object such as this camera all in one view even though it's drawn on a sheet of paper which is 2D. It provides a realistic view of the object and this is important when designing things because you first want to draw it by hand before spending a lot longer and a lot more effort to create it within a CAD program. So the first step is draw something out and then we'll model it in a CAD program. There's three types, isometric, oblique, and perspective pictorial drawings. We're just going to talk about isometric because that's what engineers use. It shows all three sides, such as this cube. Notice you have width, depth, and height. All three sides are shown and each side is equal in measure so nothing is distorted if this is one meter and this is one meter and this is one meter they'd all be drawn the exact same length and that's not true with all drawings some drawings they become distorted like when you guys are in art and you did a one-point perspective when you're a kid you probably drew a road that converged on a single point in the distance in that um, drawing then things would be distorted now, an isometric drawing is always going to be at 30 degrees to the horizontal. You're going to use paper, and it will have all these lines on it. It will be really nice and neat. And the paper, the grid paper used, will also have these 120 degrees between each corner. So on a cube such as this, this should be 90 degrees. But since we're trying to represent something that's 3D on a 2D paper, we need to kind of change it upwards 120 degrees to make it look right. These are two examples of puzzle pieces that I did um, last year actually. And I'm going to show you how to do a simple isometric sketch of this one here. So I've got the same part right here, I just didn't color it in. And this is going to be similar to the work you guys do for the puzzle cube. Now there's no right or wrong way to draw these sketches. I always start with a reference point. I'm going to choose this point right here. It doesn't have to be that point, but I like that point. You could have started here or there. And I always start with the top, the very top of the piece. Now, Not everybody does that, but I like to do it that way. So this dot right here is that reference point right there. From there, I'm just going to start following along and tracing out. There's a line that goes to the right. There's a line that then turns left. I'm going to turn left. There's a line that turns another left. Turn left. And then close it off. A little sloppy, but that's because I'm using Microsoft Paint. Now I'm going to draw this line. And there's no right order but I like to do this line next and it goes down by two cubes one two so one cube two cube um, then I don't know this is up to you but I'll go to the right by one go to the right by one uh, maybe I'll draw this line in next draw that line in Maybe this one next. Uh, maybe that one next. So I'm just going to keep tracing. I drew that one. Then this corner. Then I'm going to draw that line. So you're just simply replicating the shape that you're given for this first part. You need to know how to replicate one before you start drawing your own unique parts. Um, then why don't I go to this line from my reference point down one block alright maybe I'll draw that line down by one block 
put a line across because there's a line across here. I'm going to draw the top of this next. That line last. Can you see it's just a methodical way of drawing this? I actually find it to be relaxing. I like drawing these. And so I'm just going to keep going along line by line and just follow that shape. Go over by two. You got this corner right here. And then finally I've got my last face. And then what you want to do is then do tonal shading. You notice I shaded that surface, that surface, that surface, that surface. So you want to just lightly shade these and do a better job than I am. You're going to do this by hand rather than with paint or on your iPad. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope you found this video to be very helpful.